you know injuries uh, happen to a lot of athletes and a lot of cricketers um, in particular to cricket so uh, mm. what what are the basic like you know management skills of injuries you know what are the what are the uh, steps you could uh, say yeah 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 that's a good question uh, you know unfortunately not everybody has access to a physio or to a doctor or to a you know strength and conditioning coach or biochemist so this is you know for me very very uh, important question because it it requires a lot of education and that's a lot of what we do um so the basic protocols for anybody um i know there's this misconception behind uh, having to massage an injury early on and apply some heat uh, that's not true the first thing you need to start immobilize um so basically there's some basic principles you need to rest rest the in, after an injury mm-hmm. you need to um start with some ice okay ice usually 10 to 12 minutes um sort of every 90 minutes or, or so um for the first sort of 2 to 3 days okay that helps to limit the swelling that's really important you need to try and limit the swelling because that's what's going to hinder you creating pain and reducing mobility etc um the other thing you need to do is compress the compression will help to you know again reduce the swelling um and that will then allow you know you to recover faster they've shown with the research that the bigger the swelling obviously the longer the recovery period that you're going to have or you're going to need of course so yeah. you know and the other one is elevation um really important 45 degree and that helps with also you know creating some drainage and helps with limiting the swelling so everything in the first sort of 3 days is designed around limiting the swelling you can't eliminate the swelling because the swelling is part of the healing process um so you need to limit the swelling and then from there you start some gentle uh, range of motion exercises um and then start to actually work progressively from there uh, a very common mistake a lot of other people make is that you you often people will start to go immediately back to sport or immediately back to a certain level once the pain's gone so people need to remember that the absence of pain is not the absence of injury so just because something stops paining yeah. doesn't mean that the body is not recovering recuperating and 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 you know still undergoing a process so often you go really quickly important. from here yeah you go really quickly from here to there and then you get re injured